My name is Kanagaraj and I'm going to talk about this Telco Agile Orchestrator in this session. In ONAP CLA project, uh, there is a platform called Open Command Platform. It is introduced to orchestrate or automate the different actions involved in the ONAP. <clears throat> so uh, it enables to model the given action as the YAML, as well as we can capture the execution details in the YAML. That's we can call it as codeless. Also, we can associate the uh, accent with the uh, actual ex implementation of that. Uh, it could be a scripting language or programming language. It allows to onboard and manage those actions. And while executing, we can troubleshoot those accents footprints. Um, it also allows to model the environment using the YAML, which is called uh, environment profile. At the same time, it enables to orchestrate across the different domains or um, the tools. Uh, it's called as a plugin profile. So um, uh, open command platform is built uh, with a specification called open command specification, which is currently used in this platform. Uh, it, uh, it, this specification helps to model the action like with what are the required inputs, what are the required outputs, and how the execution is performed. So all those related informations are captured in this um, YAML, and that YAML is completely processed and then converted into an action or a command by this model engine. It, it enables a gRPC and um, the command console or the Linux shell. So through which uh, we can onboard the um, actions, we can manage the action, we can execute the actions. So all these operations can be performed. So for the um, programmatic integration, we can use the gRPC while the scripting integration, we can use the, the self command. On the other side, um, it enables to um, come up with the different profiles for supporting different environment or protocol specific things like HTTP or SNMP, or um, we can even integrate uh, the, the robot, which is uh, currently we are trying as part of the uh, Guilin release. Uh, so on one side, it enables to integrate in the programmatic or scripting approach. On the other side, it enables to integrate with the different environment through the profile. Uh, so the environment uh, can be uh, a specific product like OneApp, or it can be orchestrator like on a SO, or, or like OpenStack Heat. So all those things can be integrated seamlessly into this platform. So one side we are uh, it allows to um, uh, allows to integrate with the different environment. On the other side, it enables to access them seamlessly. So it's built on top of uh, the domain model. Um, so one, so it has a product under the product. Uh, usually a product will have service. Service will have list of features. So the feature is modeled as like a command with required input and output. Under the environment is modeled with the profile. Profile basically captures all the environment details. Like it could be the connection details or the credentials, which are the information required in order to operate those environment from this uh, platform. And another is the artifact. It helps to store the, um, the required artifacts like the scripting or the configurations, uh, et cetera. The, even the environment variables, and then it can be used during the execution. So the execution is modeled using the runtime uh, model. So in which there are three models, execution. Execution takes the command, uh, the instance, and then the user will give the input uh, as the parameter and uh, um, with that parameter the execution will happen and then finally it's produced the result. The result is nothing but the instance of the output. So while execution, the, uh, the user can also provide the profile which is nothing but the environment details on the artifact which is required for executing the given actions. So using this platform we have already uh, um, uh, uh, completely one use case in the one up called um, uh, OVP uh, VNF test platform in which uh, we have done the end-to-end <clears throat> -end, uh, the service automations. So what we have done, um, we have taken all the one up actions as the uh, the command and then exposed like the, the, the CLIs 
and the same commands or um, consume like the test cases in the VTP. So uh, one side the action is uh, seen, um, seen like a command from the DevOps point of view. On other side, the same action is seen as the test case from the test case, testing or the uh, certification point of view. So it's like uh, develop the action once and then use it across the, uh, the DevOps, CACD or, or the real production environment. So it says um, the um, development effort involved in multiple places otherwise, the, which is the common practice today. So uh, when we're looking at this, uh, the picture, the VNF lifecycle validation is made up of this complex, uh, the, the workflow shown here. So the complete workflow is orchestrated through this, uh, the platform. Uh, so it acts like a two-in-one for the tester, it fills uh, uh, the, the, the user role in the options of the user. And for the user, it, it got from the box as because it's already tested from the testing point of view. So, uh, so in summary, it basically helps to model any accents as the YAML and onboard into the uh, OCOM. So from that point of view, it will be seamlessly seen like a one action with a given on GRPC or the, uh, the CLA or, or um, the test case. So the same action is uh, seen with a different interface, but end of the day, it is going to be the same actions. So more details about this, the automation, what we have done, the end-to-end -end things we have given in this wiki, please uh, refer this wiki for more information. So that's all about this, uh, the um, Agile Orchestrator. Thank you for seeing this, uh, watching this session. Thank you. We have now um, activated the phone bridge. Unfortunately, uh, our speaker is online but unable to access the audio. So if you have any questions, feel free to enter them in the Q&A with speakers air chat, and he will respond to you in that chat. Uh, we have a few minutes left. If there's any questions that don't get answered, then we will refer you to a Slack channel where you continue the conversation.